Hello, in this video, we will look at how you can use Heatwave Lakehouse to run analytics on data in Amazon S3, incrementally refresh any new data, export data in Heatwave back to S3. I have an S3 bucket with TPCH10 dataset in my AWS account in Parquet format. I will copy the S3 URI of the Parquet file which will be used as an input to Heatwave Lakehouse. Next, we will create the Heatwave Lakehouse mapping. This is the console for Heatwave on AWS. There is an instance running on AWS and there will be no data movement outside of AWS. To create the mapping for the Parquet file in the S3 bucket, we specify the S3 URI of the file as the data source. We also specify the schema and the table name where we want to import the data from the Parquet file. Creating the mapping invokes Heatwave Autopilot. Autopilot uses advanced machine learning techniques to automatically determine an appropriate mapping of the S3 file to an in-memory representation of the heatwave. Autopilot does not simply rely on the header's information but scans the data in a very intelligent manner to infer the schema. For example, how many attributes there are, their names, data types and precision. In this video, I will select one of the primary key change the name of one of the fields and update the data type for one of the field. You can see the source of the data from InnoDB and object storage in S3 bucket is available at one place on the console. Updating the schema when creating the lakehouse mapping creates a table with the updated table definition. Now that we have the data loaded into Heatwave, the system is ready to run analytical queries. You can run analytics on the combined data from InnoDB and AWS S3 using the standard MySQL syntax. Here is a sample query which joins the InnoDB tables with the tables containing the object storage data. Heatwave Lakehouse also enables you to export the data to AWS S3. In this demo, we will export these query results by specifying the S3 bucket's URI and the output file format as CSV. Optionally, you can also specify if you need any headers in the CSV file. As you can see, the data is successfully exported in the CSV format. Heatwave Lakehouse is an end-to-end -end solution for querying data in object storage. You can load the data summary you just exported in the CSV file to the S3 bucket back into Heatwave. So let us load the CSV file in a new table. I have also created an AWS QuickSight dashboard to visualize the data. For this, we have connected to the Heatwave database using AWS private link. You can see that the panel plots the average total price each year. Note here that the data is only present from 1992 to 1996. Now let us run the same query for the years on and after 1997 and export it to the S3 bucket under the same S3 prefix. As you see, in this S3 bucket, you have the new folder with the new S3 exported data. Since more data is exported in the S3 bucket, our order summary table is old. It doesn't have the data for years on and after 1997. To support this use case, the Lakehouse has incremental load feature to load the new data under the same S3 prefix. We do this by calling Heatwave Load and providing the schema and the table name and setting refresh external tables to true. Going back to our AWS QuickSight dashboard, which is querying our MySQL database, we refresh the dashboard and see that the new data has appeared for the years 1997 and 1998 which was not present earlier.